Hello, Pacha Party. Now today we come up with a very interesting topic. What's that? A water. So water is very common topic. Yes, that's a common topic, but the a very precious natural resources. So we have to study in detail and proper way. So what is the best method to understand chapter quickly? It's a concept map. Yes, we are going to deal with the concept map in today's session. So here we go with a great enthusiasm. So when you talk about the water, the first thing comes in our mind is that a daily use without water, we can't even imagine a life. Now tell me one thing, is there any organism that can stay, that can live or without a water? Answer is no, obviously no, without water, there is no life. You know what? Earth is called as a blue planet. Why? Lot of water is there. But do you know out of the water present on the planet Earth is mostly 97% water is saline. What do you mean by saline, sir? A salt and minerals that is ocean water. Exactly correct. And that only the 3% is remaining for the drinking purpose. But out of that, we have studied in previous class, we have studied pre in a previous lecture that out of three only some amount of water is responsible or we can say is available for a drinking. So don't you think so water is very precious and we have to manage it properly. So let's start the chapter. Here we go. The water just we talk about what are the sources of the water? Yes, the water sources is one from where we get the water from where we get the water. Definitely bore wells, lakes, wells and river. So these are all our ground water. Yes. So whenever there is a water inside the ground below the soil, it's considered as a ground water. The bore well is a technique in which the bore well pipe goes drill into the soil and the water comes up. Right? You must have aware, uh, aware about that, right? In Marathi, it's called Kupanvika, right? Yes, that's a bore well. Then lakes. Yes, we have visited all the lakes almost. Yes, virtually, right? Yeah. Now, now tell me one thing. Lakes is what? Nothing but a jaha paani bohat zara sa hota hai, right? That's a lakes. Then wells. Obviously, ye to sabko pata hai wells ke baare mein. Kuwa, right? Ham paani aise nikalta hai haan se. That's the water. So, ultimately, it's underground water that gets saturated over that, right? Yes. And rivers. Definitely, we know the rivers. Now, there is a question in my mind. My bachcha log, what is that? The question is that if water is underground, it's going to soak, soil is going to soak it, right? So, chala jana chahiye. But kya hota hai? At the bedrock is there, a black bedrock is there, to water ko accumulate karke rehta hai. And then bore well, wells, legs, isme paani bhar jata. Getting my point? So, have you seen, chabhi koi bhi cheez hum log, uh, as a soil mein dal de paani, to soak chala jata, right? But a particular amount of water holding capacity hoti, right? We have studied that. So, let's talk about the further thing. Now the rain, exactly. Rain, if there is an excessive rain, it's caused a flood, right? Bhoot zada barish hoogi, to kya ho jayega? Pani ki capacity bada jayega. For example, there is a river in a village and waha bhoot saari barish hoogi hai. To pani, so capacity of water, carrying capacity of that river will be not adequate. To pani pooori jaga fail jayega. Ye gaon mein, wo gaon mein. Even in city, we talk about that. Bhoot zada barish hoone ke baad flood a jata, right? So it causes excessive rain causes the flood and other deficiency hui to definitely it causes the drought. So drought, if there is a lack of water or scarcity of the water for a more than six to like few months, few years, then there is a condition. There is no water. There is no plantation properly. And because of the no vegetation, there is no animals can survive over there. Definitely human can arrange something, but Animals can't, right? So it's a scarcity of water for a longer period of time known as a drought. Okay, so we talk about rain if excessive and deficiency what happened, right? Now moving to the next part, a cloud formation. Cloud that touches the ground is known as a fog. Yes, cloud. So cloud kaise banta? Thandiyo me, agar morning me dekho ke, toh sa pura white 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 thoda sa dikhta It's a fog, right? Yes, moisture content zada, humidity zada hai. Kyunki temperature down hai. Exactly correct. Now, how actually the cloud formation takes place? A condensation of water droplets around the particles in the air. Air has a many, uh, many things inside. Mixture of air is a mixture of gases, right? Also, it contains the water that is called as a moisture. 
अगर वो मॉइस्चर जो है वाटर प्रेजेंट है कंडेंस हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ लेस टेम्परेचर कंडेंसेशन अगर कन्वर्जन ऑफ वाटर वेपर इन टू दी ड्रॉप लेट्स That's a condensation. Yes, in simple language, we have studied that, right? So that's a condensation of water droplets around the particles in the air. It leads to formation of cloud. Exactly correct. Now, water cycle. So water cycle, जो water cycle हो जाएगा मतलब amount of water present in the planet or on the planet Earth is it will be the same. Yes, it will be the same. Why? Because the water cycle is responsible for that. So, what is the meaning of water cycle? The circulation of water between the ocean and the land. कैसे जाएगा सर यहाँ पे पानी? Yes, बारिश हो रही है ground से पानी बह के नदियों में नदियाँ उठा जाएंगी river में. I mean नदियाँ नहीं बढ़ेगी right? Yes, exactly. It goes to the ocean, meet to the ocean, and then from ocean evaporation takes place. So, continuous cycle will be there. So, what is the water cycle? A continuous motion of a water. Like from ocean evaporation takes place, it goes up at some uh, distance, it get cooled, condensation occur, cloud formation will be there, and then cloud formation if the capacity holding up of cloud is increasing, precipitation. Precipitation has a three forms. It can be form like rain, hail, and the storm, right? Or snow, you can say, right? So this is precipitation going to occur. So in water cycle, these three things are responsible, right? Yes. So process. Condensation, water vapor condensed to form a cloud, then precipitation or rainfall, falling of water from the cloud and the evaporation. So first comes evaporation, then comes the condensation, and then comes the evaporation. No, again this is a question asked for a multiple time questions or MCQs or major problem. For what is the sequence of the water cycle? Evaporation from right ocean. That what is so evaporation. Condensation and precipitation. Again, I'm repeating. What is the sequence of water cycle? The first thing goes is evaporation. Water get evaporated, then it is reached to some height, cool down it. Cloud will be formed. That is a condensation. Water vapor, like water con con converts into the water vapor. Evaporation. Water vapor converts into the droplet. That is a condensation, and then condensation. Leads to the precipitation again. There is a conversion, right? So this cycle goes on continuously, right? So these are the sequence of the water. Now, what is the point remaining? Rain water harvesting. Bap re. Rain water ko harvest karna hai, store karna hai. Kaise karenge? That's the question. Very easy. Now in a village, let's take example. In a village, there is a. You see, why I'm not taking example of city? I will tell you later on. But let's focus on that. Or in village. You you have a a big house. A roof is there. Water is like rain is rainy season is uh, going on, and the rain is falling on the roof of the top of the house. Then that rain water get accumulated over there, and with the help of pipe, it goes to the one tank which is beneath the ground, underground. Right? Because atmosphere se usse contact kam rakna. So what is happening in this? Directly the rain water is getting stored into the tank. Yes. So rain water. Harvesting. You are storing the water of the we are which whichever we are getting from the rain. We are using it. No, we are storing it for the future purpose. So that is called a rain water harvesting. Yes, that's a very simple technique. A technique to collect and store the rain water. That is considered as a rain water harvesting. Right. A rooftop rain water is harvesting. Obviously, that we just have discussed this example. Right. Now underground rain water harvesting. So rooftop and the underground water. Now tell me one thing. Once you Directly allow that rainwater to uh, go to underground. That what going to happen? That underground water table will increase. So table increase in a water amount present in the underground will be increasing when you allow that water to, uh, or we can say the soil absorbing the water continuously. Okay, so that is going to happen over here. So rainwater harvesting is a very important technique. See, it mostly followed by the most of the th most of the people. No, that's the problem, right? It's Definitely, we have to follow this for the water management. So, what is water management? See, we need a water for everything, starting from the brushing the teeth to end the sleeping towards the night. That we drinking the water. Even our body is made up of the seventy percent of water, right? So, water is an essential component of life, isn't it? Yes, it's an essential component of the life. So, we have to manage it properly for the future benefit, for the future purposes, right? So, we need to balance it. We need to store it. So that is water management in which we have to follow some techniques to store it, conserve it, and reserve it, right? So that is a water management. So here we completed about 
a six CBSC and six ICSC topic that is a water. So we are all gone through the all the points. So I hope you understood that well, right? So if you like this, please subscribe. That is very important. Stay in tune for more updates. Bye bye. Take care, bachalog.